one egg. And I'm probably about four miles into the egg glory journey down to the singing sands. We shall see you down there. Main pet, are we? I'm just inquisitive, aren't you? Huh? Oh, you are a big, good looking girl, aren't you? You are a girl, aren't you? Don't you got little ins? I'll just get by. This might look a bit idyllic, yeah. It's not cycling territory. You probably can't hear us. I'll shut up with this. I'll report back from the beach. That's that jellyfish moment you've all been waiting for. Uh, can I just say I have a size eight and a half to a nine foot. Look at that bad boy. Oh -ho. What a place, the water is as clear as glass. Never seen a beach like this. I wonder if this is why they call it the Singing Sands. Have a listen. I think it's a golden eagle. <laughs> Come right over there before and it was massive. Oh wow. Ooh. Flipping golden eagle. <laughs> Has to be, doesn't it? Uh, DVS reporting from the land of golden eagles. Uh, they might lay an egg or two up there. So that is me in yonder distance. You can just make the little a little snatch of orange there. 
What a flipping place, eh? Golden Eagles a lot. I'm one of a lax in time. I think I've earned the in the cheeky beer now. Oh, I don't know about the camp, lass. It's that remote and hot. Oh, I'm even walking back with just my bra on. No, you'll not be getting a flash of that one. That's for tea on. It's a little bit of extra bulk out for tea from all these basmati rice. Like 35 pence and that. And then this wayfarers, yeah. Uh, veg chilli and not how much rice but i tell you what I just want to say hold on I'd just like to say a massive thank you uh, to a pal of mine called Sharon uh, she gives a couple of them wayfarer meals for Christmas I'm a right tight horse I was keeping them for best <laughs> like if the cook I broke on Christmas day I would have had something to eat uh, I was keeping them for best uh, so this is my first time eating uh, like Boat, expedition, camping, food stuff. Uh, so thanks for that, Sharon. And, and I, I tell you what else, uh, Sharon chipped in uh, and bought me a, a good old amount of petrol for this trip. Uh, so thanks very much for the support. Uh, very o o overwhelmed with that. Uh, you're an absolute legend. Thank you ever so much. And that is our monstrous pile of tea. Actually, it's not that big. That's a massive hand, yeah? So really, that tea is just that big. <laughs> and that's where view for tea. Damn me. All that's missing is a barefoot. Oh, <laughs> hiya. And a golden eagle. Oh. Cheers, Sharon. Thank you. Let's have a look at the scores on the doors. Shiny, shiny there. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Right. Oh, yeah, the wind's just picking up. That's nearly a mile an hour. And before it was a, uh, it was hitting on twenty nine degrees. That's ridiculous. The plus side of being at the seaside. Yeah, me, you can get your stuff nice, can't you? Everybody knows the sands and abrasive. Uh, oh, look at the bottom of that pan. Beautiful. Oh, is this new, Donna? Why, no, I've had that since Christmas. Uh, yeah, that's me snow peak. Me snow peak set. So, yeah. <laughs> Lush. There's my tent. I've got the sleeping bag airing on the top. Uh, no wrong with airing your, your, sleeping, your sleeping kit out as much as you can. And I've seen five people at this beach since I got here about four hours ago. No mobile signal, not fussed. You do get the, the, the mobile signal on the island now, which I never used to. But over this side, uh -uh. there was supposed to be storms kicking in tomorrow, so I'm <laughs> unsure what I'm doing. Because I tell you what, it was uh, more downhill than uphill for to get here. Uh, there's a, apparently, according to the last I was talking to, who I was pitched next to with Noy Dot. Uh, there is a better track out. I've took the uh, ri ridiculous one in. Not like you, Donna. <laughs> Not like you, Donna. Gotta watch where I'm putting my feet because there's a, a little bit of sheep stollops around here. Uh, not ideal on a bare foot, especially when it's been there a while and it's got a crusty top. Uh, I'm unsure what's worse, sticking your foot in a wet one, yep, or sticking your foot on top of a dry, crusty one that's probably got some moisture left inside. The jury's out, comment below. <laughs> uh, no, you can't see it, the best one's not sticking your foot in one. Happens to the best of them. 
I mean, you want to see the bike wheels there. I need to lock that up. No one's going to take that. Oh, absolutely. I would say covered in clot. Nah, uh, it's, it's minging to the nines with shit. <laughs> I'll show you a camp. It kind of looks like a, <laughs> some type of vagrant setup. It looks like a llama any camp. Hey, that was Annie. Yeah, looks like a llama any camp. There's things hanging a left, right, and centre. Stuff on top, stuff inside. Uh, it's like a jumble seal. How are you? Let's see what we're going to buy. <laughs> Got to watch out for that prickly thing. Don't want to be putting bare feet. On the prickly things. Right, so we have uh, first off, we've got a chinned can of hairs. Uh, we've got the, the, the dinner all packed up. Toads posh for the table, an ass mat uh, inside. Oh, look at that, I wonder where I got that from. Uh, inside, we've got me panniers. It's hard work with panniers. Is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, got the us. <laughs> Osprey at the top, see the summit, you've got the Ketchka uh, pillow, that'll have more D on it, DNA on it now than uh, most city hospitals. Wooden a mountain star. That is my REI bag. Look like there's somebody in there, there's actually not, uh, that is uh, the loft of just half of it. I'll be popping that back in soon and you will see the full loft. Uh, the foot box on the REI magma bags. Oh man, it's a thing of. Look, even when it's limp, yeah, that's it, limp, limpage. Look at the, the girth on that man. Oh, how would it keep a girl happy? Yeah, get her an REI bag. Right, I believe I've got two beers stashed round the dark side of the moon. Oh, look at that in a bottle of water. Oh, 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 beautiful bag. That's it inside out. Eight. That there is it inside out. It's that nice colour there. It's like a womb inside. I don't know what the connotations of that are. <sighs> Two chickies left in here. I wish there was three. I'm not going to lie to you. Sift that down. Oh, it's on the sit mat. Assume the position and wait for sunset. Toodles! Worth it though. Just starting to get some colours there. Fabulous, darlings, fabulous. Right, defo time for some porn now.
the sunset's been lush, absolutely lush. Life's good. I'll catch you in the morning. Uh, but for now, it's uh, night night from, from DBS. <coughs> morning, guys. Uh, it is about 20 to 9, I think, or half past 8. Uh, started raining for about an hour, so I was having to wipe the tent down. Yeah. Camp as best friend that. So I was wiping the tent down. I'll get that packed down. Uh, I want to get offshore because I remember the weather forecast was changing today. It was going to be thunder and lightning. Uh, so I don't know how long it's going to take us to push to push pedal <laughs> back there. Uh, I don't know where I come in. Grim Grimold or somewhere. Gamesdale. Gamesdale. Yes. Uh, so so yeah, I want to get all me all my stuff back up that hill. Look at that man, yeah, I think I've got, I've got a couple of bikes with us. <laughs> Decent sleep as the sun's just rising up there. Yeah. Oh, midges out, what the hell. Tell you what, uh, another one to remember. An absolute perfect day, really. Apart from getting here, going past the cows I didn't have to go past. Yelling to the woman that I couldn't hear who was yelling back. Uh, nicely though, was, you know, a nice social yell in the buzzer. Can I come this way? No, no, you want to go that way. Where you go, blah de blah. Uh, coming back through the cows. And then seeing the sign that said singing the sands and oh yes, great. And then coming down thinking that's a bit weird going past the yurt. Yeah, I went past the yurt, saw a tap, drank all my water, refilled my bottles. <laughs> that wasn't the best part. Uh, past the yurt, round the corner. I uh, think, you know, there's a little track down there through the bushes. Uh, went down through the bushes, turned out to be a blackberry patch. Uh, massive, big thorns like the, uh, thorns like the, uh, when blackberries, the, 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 the spiky bits. Uh, oh, massive, big thorny bits like that. I had to try and turn the bike round. Get out before I got a punctured tyre. By this time, I'd, I'd come back out. I'd got scrapes all over my arms. And there was chickens. <laughs> I'm not making this up. And there was chickens surrounding us. And I'm like, I, 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 I don't know where I'm supposed to be. So I went through a gate, uh, shut the gate obviously and, and managed to get onto some type of tr track. Uh, <laughs> no, there's not many people here, especially not many people with bikes. Must be the only arsehole on the island. Uh, so I went down this track that really was just uh, really deep ruts where uh, they must have had like a, a, a herd of cows, had a rave or something. It was just rutted to bits, uh, full of water, boggy, <laughs> Wet. I'm not going to whip my camera out when I'm doing stuff like that. You, you just got you, you're concentrated on on not falling, not dropping the bike, and just getting from E to B. Uh, gets to the top of the cliffs, <laughs> and I'm thinking there's no route down for bike. What, what what happens? And then if I wanted to get bike down, I've got to get bike back up. Uh, I was expecting a gentle track. <laughs> so if you're coming, if you're coming to egg and you're doing singing sands. Uh, it's that first turn off by the <laughs> by the war memorial. It's not the second one by the youth. Dear God, uh, I'm looking forward to the way back. It cannot be as bad as the as the way in. Uh, <laughs> and then to seeing what I'm sure was a golden eagle yesterday, uh, I just about pipped it off. Absolute perfect. Picture perfect. Read. I'll shut up. Uh, I'll probably give the tent time just to get dried down. Uh, that's the weather. That might be coming in. There's hardly a breeze here this morning. I'll get off here and I'll see you up the track a bit. I might be going back to the mainland today. So this is what we've got to go through today. Better than the track yesterday, mind. Oh dear God. Uh, can I just say I am pushing and not cycling. I'm hoping there's a gate up there. I don't want to be lugging this blinking bike. Oh, I bought by our fences. It's not much of a good holiday, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute peach of a place. Uh, you can't see the beach is just out, out of sight. Uh, there's bike. You can see what I'm sort of trying to manoeuvre through. Uh, my little bike, mate. Uh, comfort zone. I don't think that'll be a bloody comfort zone after all that rain last night and this morning. <laughs> uh, have you a squidgy zone? Oh. The bike seat? <laughs> don't, Donna, don't. Uh, little DVS reporting from the Isla Egg. Toodles. It's been really cool walking through the field full of cows. 
just there, I was about to get my camera out and film how, you know, how it's not that scary. And I was just checking the under carriages of the cows. And then I seen a couple of the younger ones, uh, but not like stupidly younger, I had, I had like no odours. And I seen the big one that had no odour, and I'm like, oh, no. Eh, would I you'll believe it? So I had to backtrack. So I'll shut the boggy clag. Push and bake, hate bake. Pushing the bike that I love, I hate it. Uh, and then I seen a man in a pink shirt. I thought, oh, ha hello. Uh, God has shined down upon me on this marvellous Tuesday. So then I just put my head down, back round past the, the bull that didn't have another. And I, I waved the man, hello, excuse me. I said, how do I get out? <laughs> how do I get out? I says, I'm lost. I says, I was doing all right. I said, I was being really brave. Going through the uh, the field of cows, I said until I, what I noticed one had dangly bits, and he looked around and he went dangly bits. <laughs> I said yeah, I said it didn't have one like an udder. Yeah, I said it had like man's pot. Oh, why got to say these things, Donna? Why couldn't you just say then I spotted one of them was a bull? Yeah, you got to use the word dangly pots, haven't you? Oh, I've got dangly pots myself, but that's just my age. <laughs> oh, so this is where we are now. Back that way is the perilous field of cows with the cattle with some with male cattle in there. That is the way forward and I tell you what that looks like. The promised land, doesn't it, eh? Not much cloth to push through. I'm not getting on just yet because I don't want to fish tail me rear end. Not worse than a fish tail rear end, but this is beautiful. Oh, it's like a bowling green. It's like crown green bowls. Uh oh, gone this way. That doesn't look like crown green bowls, does it? Oh, I've got to love a morning whinge. That's what we've got to put up with. That's a bit more like the real, the real eggs. Uh, it does look like a bit of a trail out. Getting the arrow of the properties. <sighs> Happy days. So, yonder house, that's where I was yelling at the woman yesterday, politely yelling, uh, and she says, no, no, you can't, can't, not this way, you want to go back. Uh, I don't know if you can see the white house below that, the white dot. That's the yurt where I ended up coming in and then the blackberry patch to the <laughs> to the left of it. Oh and then the chickens and all that and that's the way I pushed in yesterday. Uh, nice to have a different view of the day. Don't think I'll be too far off a decent track. I can see one there. Look at that. Oh I like all of these places. Nice on a nice day, but it must be a long winter. So this is bike mode. I'll not be doing much of bike mode because I haven't got a, a GoPro who stand or anything. Uh, but this is when bikes are right. But I still hate it. I hate it. There's a hill. Bye for now. It's me cycling on egg without a helmet on. Don't even go there. I do four miles an hour and the traffic's minimal. <sighs> Never again. So being on the go about now on 15. And if you put it into sat nav and put down on your bicycle and tell them where you're going, it says 20 minutes. <laughs> it's a pure and massive liar. And it's just the face of a woman that's just cycled for 21 minutes. God, I'd look dead healthy and happy, don't I? <sighs> Looks like it's mostly downhill now. I'm not going to bother with a helmet. <sighs> I'll see you at the, uh, at the flushing toilets down there. <laughs> Might even pay for a coffee. Oh. Bike absolutely scrumpy, scrumpy, stroffy. Pure tramp bike. Look at that, can I take that on the ferry, can you? Yeah. Oh. I really like it. Oh. Lovely.